everything and I don't know what to do, can you help them without the reading or do you, or do they def, cause you are a transformational success coach as well. I know you have experience as, so can they get either or, or both? How do you kind of work with the clients that way? Yeah, I mean, I just uh, recently started with a new client and she never had a reading. So we really just went into straight into the coaching and I used the healing for that. So we're basically, because I tune in before each session with my client, I tune in, I connect with the guys, I connect with my, my client's higher self to kind of find out, okay, what should we work on today? What's to their highest, highest and greatest good? And then I write down whatever comes up. And then when I start the session with my clients, I kind of share with them what came up. They're like, yes, that's definitely on point. And then, you know, <laughs> as we're talking, usually we uncover more and more stuff as we're working because it's really like, Think of it as like when you peel back the layers of an onion, you know, you t you take one layer back like, oh, shoot, there's another one, right? <laughs> so you kind of yeah. go layer by layer. And so I don't necessarily need to do a reading. I mean, I always prefer to do a reading because that's really spot on. Then I don't have to sit there trying to figure out or help my clients figure out what's going on. We're really getting right to the point and it's really, really that shortcut. That's what I like to see it. But some people, they don't want to have a reading. So we just kind of go into the coaching and... I mean, most of my coaching packages actually include the reading. M most of my business coaching programs, I also have one that's more so about healing where it's not included. But my business coaching uh, programs, they all include the readings, mainly because it gives me that roadmap. But yeah, I do also work with my clients where, without doing a reading first. It really depends on where they're at, what they want, you know, what how I can best serve them. But I definitely have stuff coming up, coming through because I do channel. I do am very connected with the guides. So even when I'm in a call with someone, it's just, it comes through and then, you know, I pick certain things up or whatnot. So it's all by divine guidance. Yes, <laughs> it's like, it's yes. the easiest way to say it. <laughs> yes. Whatever you need. Mm -hmm. And you know, her motto is everything is possible. And she truly believes that everyone has the innate power to not only create amazing success and abundance, but also to heal and take charge of their inner mind. That's been running the show up until now. And one thing she always says to me is, Let's, how can we make this easy and fun, right? You always say that to me. And so can you talk a little bit about that for um, the listeners who maybe not are having fun in their business and things seem to be not going so well? And that, that kind of mantra that you have that everything is possible. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, when it comes to the whole fun part, I mean, your business has to be fun or at least part of it has to be fun. I mean, yeah, there's certain things that you kind of have to do. Like if you don't, let's say like accounting, you kind of have to do it for until you can afford to, you know, you know, hire someone that can do that for you. But you got to find a way to love your business, because if you don't, then no matter what you do, you're not getting the results. Because yes. when you're in this because it's all about if you know anything about law of attractions, like, you know, you know, the, the positive energy attracts positive things. If you're always negative and you're like, oh, now I got to do this. Now I got to do that. You are simply not vibrating at the level that you can attract easily and effortlessly. Right. So you really have to find a way like what brings you joy? What do you enjoy that? What really makes your heart sing? Like, for example, yesterday I had a day where usually I do a lot of outreach, but yesterday I was just totally not in the mood for reaching out to people. I had a couple of calls scheduled, but I was really just in creation mode and it was just like flowing. Things were just so easy. I wrote a blog post for my upcoming podcast. I was creating a new offer. I did the chakra activation. Everything was just flowing. I was really in the flow. I mean, I, I guess that's the, the easiest way I can explain it. It's just really, it flows. But when you have days where you're just really pushing because you don't like it, it's not fun, then you're really going against the stream. It's like literally as if you would be trying to swim against the stream, everything is every, uh, swimming against the stream. It's really just hard, so heavy, and nothing is working. You're just like, oh, is the day finally over? So if you don't have fun in your business, you may want to take a step back and look at all the things that you're doing in your business and ask yourself, okay, what are the things that I really enjoy and what are the things that I do because either I'm too afraid of letting it go because I don't want to look like a failure or feel like a failure or what are some things that I think I'm, I should be doing because some other guru said that this is what I need to do. Really look at everything that you're doing in your business and then let go or be okay with letting go of the things that no longer serve you. Because the thing is, if you're doing something right now that you just, it's really more of a chore, then that mm -hmm. maybe is a sign that maybe you have outgrown that. 
Maybe it was fun at the beginning, but maybe it's not fun no more. If it's not getting you the results that you want, then why drag along? Why keep pushing? It's like you're trying to push against an, a closed door. You're not going to get very far, right? Right. But when you do something that really brings you joy and you do it from a place of how can I be of service, you know, and not so much thinking about, like, oh, what am I going to get out of here? Am I, I going to you know, grow my list and all these different things, but really do it from a place of being in alignment and doing it for, because it makes it is fun. It is joyful for you. Then the results will come. But if you're doing it for the wrong reason, like, for example, I had done that. I had done a podcast uh, many years ago, and it was not fun after six months. But mm. I didn't want, at first, I didn't want to give up on it. But then I was like, you know what? I need to give up. I need to let that go because it's simply not in alignment with me because I also didn't get the results. So it's okay to let go of something that's not serving you no more. So that's like really do something in your business that brings you fun, that is really joyful, and then you get the results. I love that. And I, I totally embrace what you're saying. And I didn't at first, but I'm, I'm really starting to see the light because you do grow. And the old way of thinking about things is, you know, well, maybe this isn't, you know, it's not working. And if I don't do it anymore, then I feel like a failure and all that work I put into it now, what, but then, you know, when you think, well, what, what else could be there if you allowed the room for it? Mm -hmm. And if it's not serving you, if sometimes, you know, we grow through things, we, we grow through, um, people and we change and we're always growing. So, I, I love that it's, you know, something that can be there to serve you for a time, mm -hmm. but not forever. It just depends, mm -hmm. right? It all depends on how you feel about it and if it's working for you at that time. Exactly. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're not still wearing the same clothes you were wearing 10 years ago, right? <laughs> <laughs> you no. outgrew it, right? Or it's maybe not style no more. It's the same thing about your business. I had started so many things and stopped so many things because I felt like I outgrew it. It wasn't in alignment with, with me no more. And the key is everything you're doing in your business has to be in alignment. If it's misaligned, that's when you notice that things are just not going so well. Or it's just hard and it's just like, you know, it's like, ah, that means it's mis you're misaligned to it. So you really want to check in with yourself and see what can I do to get into alignment? What is that? What is What is it that I can do that's really fun? And when you find something, you really have that feeling like, yes, I can't wait then yes. that's really, you're in alignment. And that's really when you create the results. You know, yes. if, you, if you're doing stuff that's not in alignment, you just, it's just very, very hard growing your business and it's not fun. <laughs> not fun. It's hard. Nope. Well, okay. We are almost at the end of our time. I can't believe how fast this has gone right? by. <laughs> so fast. So what would you like to leave the listeners with before we sign off? Uh, well, I guess the one thing I want to leave them with is like, if you're really stuck in your business, look a little closer. Like what I just shared with you is like, you know, see where are you misaligned and find something that really brings you joy. Don't feel bad of letting go of something that's simply that you have outgrown. It's okay to say no to something. It's okay to let it go. And then if you're really stuck and you have no idea how to move forward, then maybe, you know, consider an Akashic record reading either with me or someone else or whatnot. So you can really become complete into alignment with your business and really create the results that you want and also make the impact that you're here to make. But, you know, don't give up and just find something that really brings you joy and that lights you up from within. Yes. I love that because there is possibilities. There are, there is hope for you. There's possibilities, lots of them. And Kay can really help you in a lot of different areas and she can help you with what your soul's here to do. And that's what we're all here for is to shine and use our gifts. Thank you so much for being here. Kay Sanders. She's a transformational success coach, Akashic record guide. She's amazing. She's got the divine business Academy and she really supports heart centered entrepreneurs. And we're going to have all the ways that you can reach her, all her social media and website. Thank you for being here. Kay. I love talking with you as always. Yes. Thanks for having me. And I'm looking forward to talking to you again soon. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, everyone. So remember, stay present, step into your power and never give up on your dreams. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to know more about a guest on our show, please contact me at jsalant5 at outlook.com. That's J-S as in Sam, A-I-L-L-A-N-T as in Tom, 5 at outlook.com. And remember, stay present, step into your power, and never give up on your dreams. Thank you.